5.6 nomenclature, naming compounds. We did this in lab. Um, so this is a, a rehashing of that, but that's good because usually it's helpful to hear this stuff more than once. There are different systems for naming different types of compounds, and so we have to figure out what type of compound we're dealing with. Um, it's a little bit like different um, people in different countries use different ways of, of carrying on names. Um, in some countries, um, well, like my ancestors came from Sweden, and I don't think they do this anymore, but they used to. The father had a name like John, and then his son's last name would be John's son, and his daughter's last name would be John's daughter. And so you had the last name changing every generation. It makes the, uh, the family tree project kind of interesting. But that's where you get all these Nelsons and Carlsons and Johansons and there are a lot of son names, right? And other countries do things differently. I think, I'm not sure of this, I should research this. I think in Korea, there's only a very few surnames, last names. And so that's very common. Um, for people to have the same last name. In other countries, the, the family name comes first and your given name comes second. Okay, so it, you, know, you need to know what country is this person from to understand how they're named. We need to know what kind of compound this is so that we know what kind of um, naming system is being used. There are some compounds that, that have common names. Um, maybe there's a slide on this later. I'll just take care of it now before I forget. Um, H2O is, well that's a bad O. H2O is always called water. It has a more systematic name but it's just so common we always use that common name. And the other one is NH3, that's ammonia. And so those are, those are two common names that you just have to memorize. Okay. It's a little bit like those uh, celebrities that just go by a single name, right? Cher or whatever. Don't you have a last name? Nope, just Cher. All right then. So water and ammonia are kind of like superstars, I guess. 